standing show here every trading day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to, under newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22% in one year, for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So the bottom, and, and not only that, on top of that, what Basil has there, he's done many webinars. He's got 12 live webinars on there. So the bottom line, you're going to get some great webinars. You're going to get a great newsletter. And if it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, 29th day, just cancel it and no problem. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? It was great to hear you with Larry. It's amazing. Uh, um, he's been trading forever. And, uh, but, you know, it's, we're always fascinated by his, uh, by his technique and what he discussed. But I don't know, his memory for detail, he'll say when I was with uh, Joe whatever on, uh, was it a Tuesday? I was a Tuesday, 1965. I know, man. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> you know, Seriously. I mean, it's fabulous. Anyway, it, it should be a wonderful it, workshop, that's for sure. No doubt, no doubt. So we're looking here at something that's quite fascinating for me. Okay. A week ago, when I spoke to you, you know, the, it feels like a lot's happened. But if you look, we're basically in a kind of a sideways move here. Here's the down the left side. I'm showing the daily chart. Let's go back to last week. We were around about here at the Dow, 33,463. Here we are, 35, uh, 35, uh, 463. Yeah, we are 35,624. Um, so the market's having a little difficulty. And if you got you know, every time the market looks like it's about to decline sharply, you get a, a new, a, some kind of an earnings report today. It's Caterpillar spirals up really sharply and helps the Dow. The S&P is telling more of the story. But this is what I'm looking at. Remember when I spoke to you last week, I said I've got a, a, a technique. I call it my technical instruments of last resort, just like the Federal Reserve is the bank of last resort. So this is my technical tool of last resort. This is where the nine period moving average is over the 14 period moving average. And look how many times since uh, in April, when it crossed green, the uh, nine period moving average showed that the, the rally in the showed the rally in the Dow, the Dow they made a left side a high and then a right side high and then came down sharply. And then it crossed negative. Pink means that the nine is under the 14. It means that you've got a deeper sell mode and you can keep going down. Then what happened is it flipped to positive in June. And once again, it got a left side and then a right side, this, this M-shaped pattern. And the right side dropped sharply. And it looked for certain that that green line would change to pink. And no, it didn't. It held green. And look where we are. Now we're at uh, the same situation where we made a left side high. Now you've got the right side high. What happens next is going to be very important. And you can see, the, for me at least, the importance of this nine period moving average holding so well says that a lot has to happen for this price. The gray, the gray line is the, is the closing price of the Dow for the price to come down very sharply to get that green to turn pink. That means you'd have to be down 35,000, uh, oh, probably at 34,800 to see it even getting close. So it says to me, a couple of things have to happen. You have to see, the, I, I've got this uh, technique that I call the dark news cloud cover. And uh, I'll just show this chart for a moment because there are a lot of things that I want you to look at, but I'll show this. And we are now well above this whole resistance area since November of 2022. And what I call the dark news cloud cover is that like interest rates or um, geopolitical, whatever it is that the market will take seriously and decline, there's always something hovering. But all of a sudden, it looked like, oh, those things were dissipating. So the market, actually, the Dow itself, went above that uh, 30, I think it was 34,700 level. And now look where we are. So this means you've got a huge containment area. So I just wanted to put that into perspective. So I am anticipating that we're going to over the next, it might take a little while, either it's just really bad news. And, you know, I, I don't want to go into it now. I'll do it on my show tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time when I do my uh, Tiger Technicians Hour. I did a little bit today. 
but you've got the TLT. Actually, I should show it right now. The TLT, which is trading underneath that rectangle that I said was, oh, why is it not going? Oh, there it is. Uh, there it is, a TLT. Underneath, it's at 98.05 right now. That's bonds. Underneath the rectangle, which made this arch formation with like an M-shaped formation, now it's taken that out. So there's a chance. Yields go higher. You spoke about the dolly, and I'm always looking at uh, leg D and a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology for turnarounds. Look, yes, the, the TLT daily is a peak D. Look how sharp we fell. There's a peak D all the way at 179 back in March of 2020. Now look at the dollar. It makes a, a, a trough D at the bottom, and it runs, and it's in the leg D to the upside. So that, and it's gone back into the rectangle. So that's the other thing. And look at crude oil. Crude oil is starting to kind of push the upper limit of this rectangle formation. So there are things sitting out there that say, hey, the market might start to worry about this in a moment. But when I when I look at the overall market, I have to wait for the to get a confirmation of really a sharper move down for all those those nine period moving averages in the daily charts to, to uh, turn down. And so far, they're holding quite well. So that's just kind of a warning to say, yes, the next move down could be a little bit longer and a little bit deeper, but we haven't actually started that yet. But in the meantime, for my subscribers, we were very fortunate. We had a stock I've spoken to you about this actually for a couple of months now. Symbotic, uh, S-Y-M is the symbol. And um, it had a sudden spiral yesterday. It was up 50%. It's actually uh, up 200% of that big rally from the when we entered it. We don't have as much as I would like, but still, it's fantastic to have a big move like Holy this. Holy cow. Look at that yeah, thing. Isn't that something? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, it wasn't a takeover or anything. I think this is purely on earnings, and there was uh, another company um, added to its allotment that it, it owns part of, of Symbotic. Some, Symbotic is in the end-to-end -end AI robotic warehouse automation systems. So these, these events are really important, and being able to identify sectors that have this kind of potential, like AI. And I'm looking at others that I think if there is a pullback here, we've started to enter some positions that could be, I would say, I wouldn't, you can never tell whether it's market unrelated, but they kind of under the radar, they're in their own world. So I think this is a time for selectivity, raise some cash. But at the same time, um, there are these positions that have, you know, potential to do really well. We've got you know, we've still got this bots, which is the AI, um, the ETF, the Global X Robotics and AI ETF. Uh, that made a double top. It's pulling back, but it's actually holding very well. Um, so there are a lot of things that I would like to look at for the next part of the next move up in the in the market after we have some kind of consolidation. So and we're folks, trying to build up a portfolio for that. It's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You hit that button and you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great night, a safe night. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Have a great one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. <laughs>